Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Game Development Log video diary and this week I've been implementing mounts. Before I get into that though, I wanted to show you the updated minimap because I did a bit more work on it this week. So as you can see, the minimap is now circular with a border around it so it looks a little bit cleaner and it's also a bit more functional now because it can show icons for entities, players and mobs. You can see that my player is indicated with a blue dot in the center of the minimap there, other players are indicated as white dots, and mobs are currently displayed as red dots. All of the other entities in the world can potentially have their own icons on the minimap, so I've been slowly creating these icons here this week, and you can see that trees, houses and fences all now have icons. There's still a load of functionality that I want to add to the minimap in the future, and I'll probably spend a couple more weeks on it at some point, but with the Kickstarter fast approaching, I really needed to move on to some other more important features for now. And one of those more important features is mounts, or more generally, sitting down. Any entity in the world can now potentially be sat on. All I have to do to allow the player to sit on a certain entity is to add a seat component to the entity in the entity editor, and then I simply have to set the point relative to the entity where the player needs to be to start sitting down, and the sitting animation that the player will carry out when it sits on the entity. So I did this for the bench entity, and now in the game whenever you put your crosshair over a bench you can see that it turns red, indicating that it can be clicked on, and if I click on it the player of course sits down. It's still a little bit glitchy, and I'll definitely work on making the whole sitting down process a bit smoother, but at least the basics are now done. And of course, it doesn't just have to be static entities that can be seats. As I said, any entity in the game can now have a seat component, so this week I was able to add the first mount into the game, which is this cute little horse here. And I say horse, but it's really more of a pony because I messed up a bit with the scaling, but the main thing is that this mob has a seat component, and so by clicking on the horse slash pony, I can sit on it. And again, I still need to smooth out the mounting process and I need to actually add a mounting animation for the player, but the main thing is that you can sit on the horse, and you can in fact also control the horse when you're sitting on him, so you can gallop around to your heart's content. It's obviously a little bit glitchy still because I only just got this working late last night, but it won't take me very long to tidy this all up, and I'll do that at the weekend. As well as all that, there are a couple of miscellaneous updates this week. Firstly, I created a new hair model for the player, and I'm going to try and create a few more so that there will be a greater variety of hairstyles available in the game. The player also has a new idle animation which was sent in this week, and I think it's a definite improvement on the last one. And finally, the world map which I've been working on over the last month is now pretty much complete, and an interactive version of it will be going onto the website which you guys will be able to access pretty soon. For this week though, that is it! Next week I'm going to be finally adding shadows into the world, and if I have time I'll also be working on buildings that you can enter, and cubic interpolation for animations. A massive thanks of course to everyone who's been getting involved with this project and sending in content for the game, your help is always appreciated. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a brilliant week, and I will see you all next time.